Is this mayonnaise again? <laughs> An electronic pass of a certain Victor Plotvin. That's Victor Genovich for sure. Now I understand why his face seems so familiar to me. He often visited Grandpa on business. Poor guy. The deceased is on the ship's crew list. I've checked. I don't know why, though. Push out of the mayo. Release me. There we go. Chat, those bowels seem bigger on the inside. Hey, Muck. What's up, Colin? How you doing? It's a good thing you only need to pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. Alkali. Uh, you know what? I can drink water and then get a new one. Apparently, your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the corps' activity. I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him. Find metal, gravity module. All the equipment was destroyed, and someone took all the data blocks. Okay. Someone's been looking for something here. I wonder what it was. Wait. Uh... <laughs> Clay chicken. I loved to sculpt when I was a kid. I wasn't really good at it, but I remember this chicken turned out amazing. I ran to show it to Grandpa, but I tripped and it got squashed on the floor. I started crying and my Grandpa tried to calm me down, saying that this way it looked even better and this made my cr me cry even more. I can't believe Grandpa kept it. <laughs> Dude, why does it have hairs on it? It looks better. This Oh, it cries even a more. Masterpiece. Or rather, it used to be a masterpiece. Getting insulted by your own grandpa. Most likely, the liner's core was remotely controlled from here, but someone broke everything. Fabric is pretty rare. Let's drop the leg. I don't think we're I don't think we're really gonna need the broken leg. Oh my god, this guy pooped himself to death. Guy, that guy had the, the bad Taco Bell chat. Oh. Uh what do I need for that? A repair tool? Nice. Filtration system. Apricot. Uh, it was an apricot until I ate it. It was really tasty. However, Grandpa gave me a good spanking for that and covered it with epoxy resin so I wouldn't spoil it. I think someone gave him this apricot after the mass extinction of plants on Earth and he dreamed of growing a real apricot tree on Kepler-438 one day. Tickets. These are tickets to the largest planetarium in the galaxy. I was a very young then, but I remember how cool it was like yesterday. I drew some doodles on the tickets before we got in, and the ticket collector refused to let us pass. I don't remember how it all worked out, but I remember Grandpa walking around the planetarium looking very happy and with a split lip. <laughs> Grandpa, like, punched the ticket man. Uh... My data. This planetarium has the most detailed map of the galaxy. We could really use it right now. Mm. I think the controller must be here somewhere. Inventory space is becoming a big problem. Here it is, the cooling system controller. I told you it looked like uh, this. broken or we don't have access. In any case, I only need to examine its internals, so I suggest using a handy scrapper. On this or uh, oh, this stuff. 
Oh no. Oh no! Do I have to go all the way back and make another one shot? Oh. We gotta go. Well, okay. Grab what we can carry. We got. We gotta go back and make another one. Uh, modest narcissist with the sub. Thank you, buddy. Muckle and Douglas bought the new original Death Squad, the fourth as the Chauncey Vets Devils, the third. Welcomes you, Modest Narcissus, to the Bones on VIP Lounge. Hope you enjoy your 18 cripples on the way giveaways every week. Please take a seat, but you're lonely near the edge. Mm. Appreciate your support. Thank you. Two months. I do enjoy this game. There's definitely a handful of things I would love to see them tweak. I don't think the tools need to break as often as they do, chat. Um, like, this game is compared a lot to Subnautica, and Subnautica, the tools, I don't even remember if they broke, or if they did, they had a massive, uh, like, lifespan. And then, like, some of them have batteries, you just swapped out the battery, and that was it. But this, it's like every few swings of the club, you gotta make a new club. Weird. It like changed us from 0G to 1G there, and it was very difficult to move. Oh gosh, where's the ship? <sighs> okay. Equipment, tools. Four plastic, four wire, and a titanium, and I can make an infinite one. Well, infinite, just 999. All right, four plastic, one, two, three, four, what else? Uh, four wire, four titanium. Let's see. One, how much wire do I have? One, two. So I need three. Do I have a fourth one? Four titanium. I'm holding two titanium, so I need two more. There's one and two. Is there another wire here? There's one. All right, is that everything? Is there any hostile other than those turret lasers? Well, there was the turret lasers, and there was also the coffin bots that were running around. So I've seen turrets and coffin bots so far, and of course the environment. Food, oxygen, water, radiation, hit points. Never too much of it at once, but yeah, it, it's all trying to get you. organizing some of this a little bit. I, I had, on my previous ship, I had these suitcases that made it pretty easy to, well, not pretty easy, but easier to keep things sorted out, and then when we got the new ship, I lost those. So, kind of doing the best I can with what I got. Uh, filtration system. I need to make that right. A filter system, yeah. So, what do I need for that? 
Uh, items. Cooling it. Filtration. Four filter. I've got one. Two titanium, two alkali. One, two, three. Alkali. Alkali. And how many titanium? Two titanium. Do I have any more of the spiky boys? There's one. Two. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So there's that. Let's uh, top our hit points off real quick. Grab, we've got the uh, infinite scrapper now. Make sure we got food and water and then go back to break that system. Got water. Uh, there was more bottles on the way there. I'll just save. <sighs> all, all the other tools got two grabbers. That's fine. Two repair tools. That's fine. Magnetic master key shears is fine. Special equipment's fine. Drills, fine. Scanner's low. Scanner's down to two. What do I need for another scanner? Metal, one metal, one plastic. Okay, let's do it. And we got room in our inventory to grab more supplies as well. Whoa. I think the game just auto-saved. Had a little bit of a lag spike there. Mugga chat off for now. Have a great rest of your stream. See ya, Boom Sledge. Have a good one. All right, we're going to take the shortcut, as it were, by going through that hole in the wall once we get near it. These spiky bits. Glad you can't actually get impaled on them. Uh, I'm gonna grab more. So whoa! Whoa! That must hurt. Wow! You are super dead. <laughs> that looked like a rough way to go. got any of those. I'd like to have a med kit with me. Okay. He had to give it some test swings because that was new. Oh, Chad, it really is infinite. Look, the 999 durability is not going down. Dude, I avoided making this thing because I thought it was still finite. Why does it say 999? <laughs> That makes me mad that it's- it makes me mad that it's infinite! Because it says 999 and I avoided it for so long. I 
I won 20 Mystic Coins from a bet with a buddy in a Zerg today. What did you bet? Like, I like I bet we could beat that guy or beat those guys. What beat that Zerg? Okay. All of the buttons are touch the circuit board. I knew you wouldn't say no. It's hot, isn't it? Just like Normandy's core, which we need to cool down already. However, I have some unpleasant news for you. I found out where to find the working fluid for the cooling unit, but you are unlikely to like it. In any case, we will need a drill and moral depravity. Oh no, are we gonna drill into the dead people chat? I bet we're gonna drill into the, the dead people. He said we need moral depravity. Uh, you know, I love how the game style tasty makes it seem like all the silly shenanigans of the devs cutting corners all over the place and all of the dead characters being complete idiots. <laughs> there is definitely a lot of that. <laughs> Bim, yeah, war crimes. Oh my god. Alright. Zerg is 70 strong, wouldn't come fight our Zerg out in the open and not try to chase us. Gotcha. I can't stop thinking about your brilliant relative. He clearly worked here and designed many of the liner systems. Could the accident have been caused by someone who needed his body or the data from his office? What if he made the accident to fake his own death? Yes, that's right. The working fluid is inside of them in the area of the bladder. We really need it, but they don't. Another elderly person with cardiac failure. They don't envy their funerary spacesuits. It must be so stressful for them. Um. Uh, about it. Okay. <laughs> How many of that do I need? Four. I need, th so I need three more. It's hard to tell anything from these remains. <laughs> the way the tummy looks after you're done. Uh, dude, I'm all turned around right now. Where's the... Okay. Two non-conductive gel and a generator. Think I should have all of that on the ship. Did you just drill? No, I drilled like their belly button or something around that area. Dude, I, I honestly wonder, he's like, it's near their bladder. Like, is this just frozen pee? Just chilled pee? Things we do for science. Oh, there's another medicine kit right there. Okay. What do we need? Two non-conductive gel. And I'm holding one. So I need one more. 
I know I've got more somewhere. There's one. That should work. When installing it, don't touch the core shell. Uh, let's see. Where did it go? Controlling the core's temperature is essential for the stable and long-term operation of all the systems. Without a reliable cooling unit, a long-distance flight will quickly end with the core shell melting down in the destruction of the ship, which will be an unpleasant surprise for mortal passengers. Tap the cat. He says, how dare you? <laughs> this is rare. This is, like, this is like once every day or two. He's like, here, it's my belly. You may. <laughs> it's like, oh, stop everything. It's chip time. Ugh, cloud of hair on me. All right. At least now you won't get fried inside of me and smear my lining with your combustion residue. Gross. All right, explore space and examine the unknown module. No, there is definitely something wrong here. I tried to track the flight path of your relative's body using the information of the coffins we opened earlier. He disappeared right after you lost him. Moreover, the other coffins didn't receive either any signal about the destruction of the coffin or its coordinates. All right, let's go see what that is. So that's the repair station to our left. We're about full health, so we should be able to fight stuff if we have to. All right, so there's laser lines there, so there are guns I may have to destroy over there. Let's see, can I reach from here? I don't know if there's like a range limit on these. Okay, I got that. I'm sorry to think this is gonna be a long-term uh, vehicle for you. Maybe. Now that I actually have supplies on it, I would kind of like to keep it for a little while. Actually, wait. That's fine. I'll just leave it there for now. Uh... Alright, let's see what's here. Oh, it's a whoa. It uh auto saved there. Apparently we won't find any survivors here either. There's been a I've been noticing a lot of that. The whole not finding hey, survivors thing. Door. How unexpected. Like a faint alarm system going off. This container seems familiar. Isn't it the capsule containing one of those ugly cow chicken hybrids that you irresponsibly launched to the surface of the planet? I hope it was empty already because there's no sign of the mutant itself. <laughs> I responsibly. You told me to hit the gray button, and I did, and then you're like, or maybe it's the blue button, I can't tell. Because this is a black and white blueprint. And it was too late. These tracks don't bode well. So there's a cow-chicken hybrid running around the ship, chat. I can't imagine how hard the blow was. This is the horror level. It seems to be the only way to get to the military shuttles. I suggest we turn back and try to find a safer place to loot. Antigrav? What? 
What? Um, install anti-grav. Anti-grav. Four gravity 